All right, welcome back. Happy Saturday. It is overcast, but about around 70 degrees. We're hanging out today. Our t-ball game was canceled due to field conditions. So, we get a little extra time to do some projects. A couple things we got going on. We're going to be planting some more seeds. We had a frost the other day, and I'm pretty sure it killed some young plants. So, we're going to reseed some of those. I got to go into the beehive because last night I noticed some ants on it. So I'm afraid that ants are starting to get into the honey that the bees are making. So I got to check that out. I got to think of a way to repel the ants without hurting the bees. So I got to look up that, figure that out. Um, I would like to try to move some chips. We are possibly going to be butchering our turkeys because they are harassing the eggs and preventing them from laying and we want an egg factory not a bully factory so we're gonna be getting rid of those turkeys we're gonna we got a list of stuff we don't know if we'll get time to do it all but we are going to spend time as a family and enjoy the weekend and just enjoy each other's time so I'll bring you along with us another thing that we need to check is to see if our new egg layers are able to come in here with our older egg layers and make sure they don't squeeze through the um, Premier One fencing holes. We have a few in right now and they seem to be doing good. Uh, they, they try to squeeze out um, but so far they're staying in so it might be a go. I'm thinking about waiting a few hours to see what happens and just letting them test the fence, see if there's any weaknesses. If there is, it'll be easy because they'll find them. So we don't want to put all 40 or so in here and then all of a sudden we have 40 birds out and we got to catch them all. What's up, buddy? Why don't you take a video of this um, tree? All right, so one thing that's pretty cool about what we just found on our farm is Weston here found a tree that when you eat its bark it tastes like mint so we have a mint tree a mint tree mm. that tastes good you always got to taste your bark when you're on the farm got a lamb that is stuck in the fence. It snuck out and it's trying to get back to its mama. See if the boys can do it. What if you do this boys? Lift up that post right there. All right well he'll back up. take you guys out to the goats after moving them and after a week they have demolished this corner um, I doubled this, their fence so now they have this and another paddock that they're gonna be working on and once this is all cleared we'll end up coming in here and uh, chainsaw on it and you know I might end up bringing the chainsaw today that way they can get these trees cut these down you can get the top of them. That way it's not wasted vegetation. It goes into them and it goes back down to the ground. So they are at work. The next big job is the tree of life back there. Next on the agenda is to check out these bees. Like I said, I think there's some ants in it so I'm hoping that they didn't swarm away and the, the ants are just are on the outside the bees are coming out. they are coming out so that's a good sign so let's get in there and check it out
this. They are already, they got honey in this one. It's not cat, but you can smell it. All right, so I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera, but this has larva, this has baby bees, capped, and it also has, you can see they're super tiny, but bee eggs. So this is looking like a really healthy colony. So I am very excited to see this. Let's see what's going on with the queen. And there are no ants in the comb, so that is great too. get this but there is a bee hatching right now come right out that is cool Still no alright so I found the queen and she's right there See if I can find her in here. Right there. So that is awesome. So there are bee eggs, larva, there's capped bees, and bees that are being born. Or hatching, I should say, not born. But this is awesome. This makes me really happy. It's a healthy hive. Um, it's early, so there's a not a lot of cones being filled. They're only about using half of the hive right now. So I am gonna bundle this back up, let them get to work. There's pollen out. Bees are coming in with pollen. I see that bees are in here with pollen. As you can see with this one. Let's see, those yellow sacks, that is pollen. So that is really, really good. So that is some great news. With no ants in the hive, the bees can relax and do what they do. So that is a very good. One project down, let's see what else we got. I think it's about lunchtime for the kids. So we started up a fire and it's already out. That's awesome. Things are moving, it is beautiful, the sun's starting to come out. Just enjoying the day with each other. Completed what I wanted to finish out here on the goats. Took the chainsaw out, got some big trees down, let them eat the tops of it, and then we're gonna light this on fire, clean this area, bring this area back to pasture. We got our creek here. Animals will be able to come off the pasture into the creek, get some water, and then continue on their way. When this is done, it is gonna look great. When this is all cleared out and burned, we're gonna move the fence up to the big oak and start clearing out that. We wanna thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go see what Jorana's up to. I think she's planting, but uh, I'm gonna end this video here. Chris is working on the fence for the sheep out behind me. Um, they're gonna have two really big paddocks. We'll be able to switch back and forth and then we'll slowly be able to continue to make more. So we're excited, we are, things are moving. It is spring, we're excited, gardening's going good, and we're just so blessed what the Lord has given us. We want to, again, we wanna thank you for watching, and please, throw down a comment, what you wanna see on the farm, suggestions, 
um, hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button. Thank you.